In today's video, I'll be showing you how to reset MSI Afterburner back to its default settings. So as you can see, I currently have MSI Afterburner open at the moment, and at the bottom here, I have three profiles. So I have profile one, two, and three. So the first thing that you can do if you do change some of the values within MSI Afterburner is click on the reset button. So this will then reset everything back to its default, like you can see it just did then. It might not say reset, it might just have an arrow as well, which will then reset everything. You can always hover over it to see that it says reset master GPU to default settings. But something you're probably wondering is, how do you just completely reset it back to its original default, like you first installed MSI Afterburner to your computer? So to do this, all we need to do is find the shortcut for MSI Afterburner, it's either going to be in your start menu or on your desktop. Once you've found the shortcut, go to open file location. You do also need to close down MSI Afterburner while you do this. So once you're in the location where you installed MSI Afterburner, you then need to right click on the profiles folder and you then need to go rename. You then need to add BK to the end of the name and we can then press enter. So instead of deleting that folder, if you do decide at a later date you would like to get back the profiles that you originally created, you can then delete the new profiles folder that's created and then just rename this one back to profiles. So if I now open up MSI Afterburner, you can now see that it's completely changed the skin back to its default and also the profiles are no longer on MSI Afterburner as they have been removed. And it is also reset all the other settings that you have changed in MSI Afterburner. Like you can see, it's changed also what graphics card I'm using. So that is how you reset MSI Afterburner back to its default original settings. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see another computer sluggish video, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.